We're going to talk about cams and whams, the close AM and the wide AM. You're going to find on the back of uh, uh, your Lincoln Memorial Sense. There's two primary means to separate these. The distance between the A and the M on America is either close or wide. Uh, and this is anything from 1990, excuse me, 1988 up until the end of the memorial design in 2008. Uh, it's either one or the other. Okay? If it's not a wham, it's a cam. If it's not a cam, it's a wham. What makes it valuable is when that design is on the wrong date. Now I've got, uh, let me see where is it, right here. I've got a RDV006, and I'll explain that to you in a, in a moment. This is the wham reverse. I'm going to put it under the camera here and pull it up. There we go. Looks just like that. Okay, as you can see here, I've got a wide AM. And you look at the FG, it's another mark. Uh, I've got a flared G on the mint mark. On the close AM, where's that one? Here we go. You'll see the distance is... It's tough to control here. Uh, right here. They're almost touching. Whereas on the F and G, I don't have the horizontal bar and I don't have the little flare. Alrighty. Now the different dates are what matter. In 1998, 99, and 2000, uh, the normal design used was the close AM. However, some of the wide AM reverse dies got switched in and you have a wide AM for those, uh, a wham for those years. Uh, and they're worth a little more. This is the 2000 wham. I just showed you this. It's easy to pick out with the distance there. There's the, the front, 2000. So that's probably five to 10 bucks for that one. Uh, the close AM, I don't have one, but you can pick any you know, coin uh, with a close reverse and it's gonna look the same. I just dropped it. There we go. There you go. Now let's go over here to uh, Variety Vista. Got a good look at it. This is the Variety Vista website that are, they have all kinds of things. And you have the Memorial Reverse Design Varieties. You come on through here and you get to 006. Okay, these are the years they should have been used on uh, or were used on. However, the highlighted ones, that's where the problem lies. Uh, in 1988, uh, they used the wide AM with the flared serifs. In 1988, it was supposed to be a wide AM. However, the old design did not have the flares. Okay, down here you see the little flares. If you got those on an 88 or 88D, that's gonna pay your light bill for this month. Alrighty. The close AM was much more common being used from 1993 onward. But in 1992, uh, they used some accidentally. It was supposed to be the wide AM that year, but they used it this year. So you're very close and you don't have the serif. Now let me see if I can get these side by side so you can see the difference right close and simple. Here we go. There's a wide and a close. See the difference there? This is about the width of the M, the base of the M, and that you can barely fit a piece of paper through there. Now if you want to, we can measure this. I can't let go of the paper it's on without it sticking to my finger here. Let go. There you go. And let me pull in the uh, the tape measure. And it just sets on top. I love this camera. Well, I'm going to have a lot of glare on that. That's not enough to look at this. Right where I need this. Move it over. Here we go. If you can measure this, it's going to be about two tenths of a millimeter. Where my lines go? There we go. I can't move that easily. I just I'm too ham-fisted. Okay, the distance there. Each one of these lines is a tenth of a millimeter. From the tall line to the tall line, that's a millimeter. That's a tenth. You're looking at a couple of lines in there. Whereas over on the close AM. I can move this over. It's I mean, it's the width of the line itself. That's very, very close indeed. Okay, now there's some other proof issues uh, that will ex that will show the uh, the close AM. And this is just a mess here. 
But I've got an article on my blog. You're able to find it here. It's called Wands and Cams. Uh, just go to my blog, scroll down through the past uh, uh, articles. They'll be over here on this side. Let's see. Yeah, blog archive. Uh, and you'll find this and it explain what to be looking for. You've got your 1988s, P's and D's. There's several different dies that made those. You have the 92s for the close AM. Then your 98s, 99 and 2000 and wham. Then down here, your uh, close AM proof. And I put in clam because it's a proof. And if I put cam, they're going to think, oh, cameo. So it's a clam. Well, anyway, that should help you out. Uh, watch for the distance and the FG. Okay? And this will uh, explain it for you. I hope this helps out, guys. Thanks a lot.